Hey, how's it going everybody? Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. <laughs> so with the release of Honkai Star Rail and my obsession with how amazing these characters really are, I figured, hey, why not throw them in a Hunger Games tournament? <laughs> I've seen many people do this kind of thing in the past, and I've always just kind of wanted to try it out myself, and this is the perfect excuse to do so, yeah. So real quick summary of the Hunger Games, people are separated into groups of two, which represent a district, and they basically are a team and try to kill everybody else. It's kind of how it goes. Although Although I think this kind of only ends with one survivor, so not really a team, but yeah. <laughs> so real quick, we'll get into the districts. In District 1, we have Snickers, which is what I named the MC, so I'm keeping that. I need that emotional attachment. <laughs> and then we have her star-crossed lover, the trash can. In District 2, we have Kalus. I don't really know how to pronounce that name. <laughs> and his best friend, the Closet Kun. In District 3, we have March 7th and D to the H over here. In District 4, my personal wants to win the entire tournament, Daddy Zvarog and Clara. Nothing beats a wholesome father and daughter duo. Then from District 5, we have the Oddballs in Pom Pom and Pella. In District 6, we have Hook and her BFF Julian, that's the kid on the side right here. In District 7, we have Bron Bron and Sela. In District 8, we have Herda 23 and Herda 14. In District 9, we have Asta and Arlen. In District numero 10, we have Sampo and Natasha. In District 11, we have Daddy Welt and Himeko. And District 12, we have Serval and Japar. So without further ado, let's get into it. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. <laughs> Hook runs into the cornucopia and hides. Wait, okay, so the cornucopia, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, it's that platform in the middle. It's like a big circle and it has all the supplies on it. Yeah, so apparently Hook's just hiding amongst the supplies, okay? <laughs> Sampo runs away from the cornucopia very in character already. <laughs> MC Boy takes a handful of throwing knives. Mm -mm -mm. He's upgraded from baseball bat. Herda 23, Julian, and Daddy Svarog work together. <laughs> <laughs> they work together to get as many supplies as possible. Sila runs away from the cornucopia. So does Bron Bron. Clara as well. Everyone's just running away. <laughs> Daddy Weld grabs a backpack and retreats. That makes sense for the smart man. Asta retrieves a trident. That's not really her weapon of choice, but okay. <laughs> March 7 takes a spear. <gasps> she can give that to Don Hung after. Okay. <laughs> 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 Trash can rips some mace out of Pom Pom's hands. I can't. <laughs> Closet Kun throws a knife into Natasha's head. <laughs> no! Closet Kun with the first kill of the game. <laughs> it can't do this. Natasha's already dead. She could have been a powerhouse, dude. Serval snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. Herda 14 snatches a pair of sighs. Those are like daggers, I think. I think ninjas use those or something. Asta receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. That kind of makes sense, actually. <laughs> Clara makes a wooden spear. Ooh, damn, little child's getting ready for war. <laughs> Wait, where's her father? <laughs> I need her father to stay with her. Sila travels to higher ground. Ooh, that, that's kind of cool. That makes sense. <laughs> Julian goes hunting. Okay, Julian. Daddy Svarog tries to spearfish with a trident. <laughs> Wait, yes, Daddy Svarog. Heard of 14, Arlen, Serval, and Pom Pom. Ooh, Pom Pom's still alive. I thought he died before from trash can. <laughs> They hunt for other tributes. Japard attacks Daddy Welt, but he manages to escape. Yes, Daddy, run away. Himeko receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Kind of makes sense, to be honest. Everybody loves the woman. Snickers Closet Kun and Trash Can. <laughs> Okay, if Closet or Trash Can wins, I'm going crazy. But they hunt for other tributes. 
one cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Rest in peace, Natasha, who was killed by a closet. <laughs> again. Pom Pom sees a fire but stays hidden. Himeko severely injures Closet Kun but puts her out of her misery. Oh, yeah, Closet Kun's a female, apparently, by the way. <laughs> but no, Closet Kun's already dead. I'm so pissed off. I'm so pissed off. Pela screams for help. Asta questions her sanity. Makes sense. Arlen convinces Serval to snuggle with him. Okay. <laughs> Daddy Svarog tends to hurt a 14's wounds. Okay, Daddy. Yes, taking care of people. Kalis, Julian, Sila, and Japard sleep in shifts. Okay, that's pretty boring. Bron Bron <laughs> convinces Trash Can. <laughs> to snuggle with her yo we got a budding romance between bron bron and the trash can Sila's probably not too happy about that <laughs> daddy weld looks at the night sky oh that is that is so in character it's not even funny <laughs> clara destroys march 7th supplies while she's asleep damn clara Pela receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. What you gonna do with that girl? Daddy Svarog steals from Asta while she isn't looking. Yo, Daddy Svarog is doing a lot so far. I like it. Bron Bron, Sampo, Hook, and Japard raid Kalis' camp while he is hunting? My poor man, he didn't deserve that. Julian overhears DH and Serval talking in the distance. Ooh, gossip. Daddy Welt sets an explosive off, killing her to 23. No! I wanted her to outlive 14. I'm upset now. I want her to get further. March 7th discovers a cave. Pom Pom constructs a shack. Okay, Pom Pom. Clara explores the arena. Oh, okay. I thought that said explodes. I was like, what? <laughs> Snickers picks flowers. <laughs> That's so in character. For her, it's not even funny. <laughs> Trash Can tries to sleep through the entire day. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Rest in peace to the main lady. Closet Kun and Herda 23. Callus sets off an explosive, killing Himeko. My god. Everybody's favorite mama is dead. Sila is awoken by nightmares. Why do I feel like this has happened before? <laughs> Daddy Svarog begs Hook to kill him. She refuses, keeping Daddy Svarog alive. I am so happy he's not gone. He's one of my faves right now. Julian and Bron Bron run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Okay. Asta convinces Clara to snuggle with her. That's kind of wholesome, actually. That's kind of adorable, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Japard is awoken by nightmares. We got a big one here. Sampo, Arlen, Trashcan, and Snickers sleep in shifts. This is a really weird group. Pela tends to Pom Pom's wounds. Aw, that's really wholesome. DH receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Herta strangles Daddy Svarog after engaging in a fist fight. No, Daddy, no. I wanted him to get so far. I'm really upset now. Okay, rest in peace, Daddy Svarog. Yo, Herda 14 is kind of a problem. DH questions his sanity. Asta and Trash Can work together for the day. Yeah. Pom Pom goes hunting. <laughs> Why is that so funny to think about? Clara ambushes Japard and kills him. The most wholesome character is out for blood. She has explosives too. Like she's a problem right now. <laughs> Arlen stabs Pela in the back with a trident. Well damn, Pela, rest in peace. She was a good girl. She helped out Pom Pom. Daddy Welt, Brom Bron, and Sampo get into a fight. Daddy Welt triumphantly kills them both. Damn. <laughs> I was expecting Sampo to be a little bit of a snake and slither around for a little more, but the daddy got the best of him and Bron Bron. Sila attacks Snickers, but she manages to escape. Nice. March 7th injures herself. Oh no. Julian receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. And that's the end. Oh no, we still have more. Hook pushes Julian into the border while he's not paying attention. Hook, you guys are on the same team. How could you do this to your mans? Like he's your bestie, damn. Rest in peace to Julian, my man deserved better. But the border is basically like the out of bounds and you get killed when you're like out of the border. So yeah, Julian's dead. <laughs> Trash can survives because of course he does. <gasps>
Snickers pushes MC Mail into the border while he's not paying attention. Bro, what is with all these betrayals? Like, dude, you guys are like the MC duo. Like, damn. <laughs> Clara is electrocuted by the board. Why? I wanted her to be the bloodthirsty winner of the thing. <laughs> Serval trips on a tree root and is unable to recover fast enough. Well, she did. March 7 survives. Dun Hung is electrocuted by the border. Wait, there's so many people dying. It's because the border keeps getting smaller. No, not Daddy Weld. Daddy Weld trips on a tree root and is unable to recover. Dude, this is so bad. Heard of Ford what the sh- <laughs> This is genuinely too much. Arlen survives. Stila trips- Dude, so many deaths! Oster Sir Pompa- Oh, thank god. How many people just died? 14! That's like more than half the squad! 14 cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Himeko, Daddy Svarog, Japard, Pela, Bron Bron, Sampo, Julian, Kalos, Clara, Serval, Don Hung, Daddy Welt, Herda 14, and Sila. Oh my god, who is left, guys? We have <laughs> We have both Snickers and Trashcan still in the game. We have March 7th who's still alive. Hook the Betrayer is alive. Pom Pom still kicking around. Ooh, both of these two are still alive too. Asta and Arlen, and the whole bottom row is dead. Damn. All right, guys, here we go. We're in the end game now. Asta looks at the night sky, 100% in character. Trash Can thinks about winning. I'm sure he does. Snickers attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Hook tries to sing herself to sleep. Yeah, I'm sure you're trying, but the blood of Julian on your hands is probably preventing that. March 7th stays awake all night. And Pom Pom tries to treat his infection. No! The feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, and weapons, and memoirs from the fallen tributes families. Trash Can is not going to that feast. Neither is Asta. Arlen isn't either. Snickers and March 7th get into a fight over raw meat, but Snickers gives up and runs away. Damn. Pom Pom and Hook get into a fight over raw meat, but Hook gives up and runs away. Yes, let's go, Pom Pom. Everyone's still alive. Hook tends to Snickers' wounds. That is a weird, weird dynamic, but don't trust her, Snickers. Stay away from that girl. Pom Pom camouflages himself in the bushes. I mean, I guess? <laughs> Trash Can diverts Asta's attention and runs away. Yo, Trash Can being sneaky. So nobody's dead. Night four, Asta passes out from exhaustion. March 7 thinks about home. Arlen receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Hook goes to sleep. Snickers, Pom Pom, and Trash Can cheerfully sing songs together. This has to be the most wholesome dynamic. I need one of these three to win. Like, these are like my favorites right now. <laughs> Snickers and Hook fight Asta and Pom Pom. Asta and Pom Pom survive. Okay, so Snickers went down and I'm very sad, but at least Hook is out of the picture. The betrayer. <laughs> Wait, let's go, Pom Pom. March 7th silently snaps Arlen's neck? Dude, girl, chill. My boy Arlen deserved better. Now Asta's without her mans. I'm sad. <laughs> Trash can collects fruit from a tree and probably just puts it inside of him, I guess. Three cannon shots in the distance. Snickers, Hook, and Arlen. Ooh, there's like five left. Pom Pom cooks his food before putting his fire out. March 7th starts a fire. Trash Can lets Asta into her shelter. March 7th discovers a river. Trash Can injures herself. Oh wait, it's a girl? Okay. No, Trash Can, don't do this. Pom Pom decapitates Asta with a sword. That's savage, Pom Pom. <laughs> a one cannon shot in the distance. Asta is dead. March 7th thinks about winning. Trash Can tries to treat her infection. Pom Pom thinks about home. Oh, we're down to the wire. March 7th and Pom Pom work together for the day. Trash Can receives explosive from an unknown sponsor. Oh my God, here we go. March 7th receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Pom Pom and Trash Can run into each other and decide to choose for the night. Okay. Trash Can kills March 7th with a hatchet. Oh my <laughs> Oh, 
what's the last one? <gasps> no! Pom Pom dies from thirst, and the winner is Trash Can from District 1. Let's go, Trash Can. Let's give him a round of applause, or sorry, her. This is a well-deserved win, Trash Can. Let's look at the results. Let's look at the finals. So who got the most kills? <laughs> so who, ooh, there, there wasn't that many kills because a lot of people just died. Ooh, wait, Daddy Wealth was kind of a savage, wasn't he? <laughs> but yeah, let's give a round of applause for Trash Can one last time, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this little meme-like video. It's my first time doing it, so I don't really have a, a style or a format for it. But regardless, hope you enjoyed and take care, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Please sub. Bye.